It, uh, he actually is unrecognizable. I like, know. So your first day back, it's like, okay. <sighs> okay, I got got. You got got. Well, we need you this. You got got. Let's, yeah, there let's we go. Let's see this, okay? Pop this up on screen. I, I mean, never would have guessed that was Bradley Cooper in a million years if oh, it whoops. didn't say Bradley Cooper above it. Oh, whoops. No, this is Jared Leto. And first they put on the Bradley Cooper makeup. <laughs> and then they put the old stuff on. So Jared Leto is actually the only one working in Hollywood, but they're going to do different this is what things. It, this is what it feels like, that, that we're down to four actors in Hollywood, yeah. and it doesn't matter what age they are or how much they weigh anymore. Gender is probably not going to be a thing. No. You're yeah. going to fit these people into it, and that's it. Bradley Cooper is one of four. Congratulations, Bradley. I think it's The Rock, Bradley Cooper, Kevin Hart, and then maybe Jared Leto. That's the only four people working, right? Yeah. Nobody else is doing anything. Yeah, no women, right? Because no, women they are, haven't quite women done. Women are useless now. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. We're you, done. You, Jared Leto plays the women. Yeah, yeah. Jared yeah. Leto will play the women. That's fine. I don't think there is any like unrecognizable women. Um, Jessica Ta- Chastain, I think, will be the only woman because they make her unrecognizable. Mm-hmm. Well, they try. They, they try. try. She doesn't have the makeup budget. I, no. I was like stunned at how bad that was. I'll pull up a picture. It's for so Tammy bad. Faye. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's it, it's terrible. And correct terrible. me if I'm wrong, but didn't they take the make hair and makeup off of the Oscars live? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Because by the way, they're the only ones now that are like mm-hmm. doing all the work. So that's interesting to me. And if you're going to do movies like this and be unrecognizable, Ooh, you've yeah. got to have the best of the best making you look like this or you're fucked. Um, so here's yeah, like, case in point, like the other uh-uh. budget this for that. Sucked. It's just, yeah. Uh-uh. It wasn't Not right. only this suck, I'll pull up Andrew Garfield in this film, which is a hundred times worse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and it did not The other well, problem I, I have think. with this is, yeah, it did bombs. But the other problem I have with this is these guys are nowhere near the age of Tammy Faye Baker and, uh, and the exactly. husband. So it's like, why don't you just get older actors? Same thing with, with this guy, unless you're going to start him young and then age him later on in life. Yeah. Because um, Bradley Cooper does look like this. The guy. Maestro. Oh, yeah. Bob's favorite, favorite What's, guy. Tell Bob, tell everybody your hero. Leonard Bernstein. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And what? So, so there's some people in the chat saying it looks like Mel Gibson. Why didn't Mel Gibson play it? Well, exactly right. There's well, <laughs> there's an obvious answer for that. Yeah, problematic it's, it's, or it's Bernstein. So, oh whoopsie yeah. daisy, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's yeah. just gonna be on set every day, and be like, I'm telling you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like my character would eat a baby in this situation. <laughs> yeah, I need a fresh infant. But he also hates because Jews, I am. So. You know he's yeah. American, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's still more fun to make him with the Australian accent. It is. It I just is. showed up. Is this Harrison Ford smoking a cigarette? No, no, that is, right? that's Bradley Cooper. It's Unrecognizable. crazy. Unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. Giorgio didn't even recognize no, him. No, that's B-Coops. And he loves a B-Coop. And uh, so this is, there's a weird story to this too, like a really super weird story. Um, so Spielberg is producing this uh, along with somebody else that's super huge. I want to say it's Katzenberg or somebody like that. Anyways, he was talking about this uh, uh, character and this biopic or whatever, and like it turns out... Bradley Cooper's dream in life was to be a conductor, uh, a music conductor, uh-huh. no lie. And mm. like Steven Spielberg was like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like we're all, no, this yeah. is not a, th-. and, he, and they were like, oh, well then you've got to do this other thing. And he told him at this movie and then brings him in and he goes, this is my dream is to play a music conductor. I wanted to be one as a child. Now that I've never heard before in my life out of anyone's mouth, yeah. that they wanted to be a music conductor as a child. But I kind of believe it out of Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Kind of. There's a, there's a picture that you send me quite often mm-hmm. to kind of get me of him playing Elephant Man. Yeah. No makeup, though, in this one. He went. And it's this. It's he didn't this do any and... makeup. He decided it was a play. I think it was Broadway. Yeah. But he decided yep. to do everything go. just physical and no. So he did the movements, but he's still shredded like Bradley Cooper. Because yep, I don't. Yep. Let's face it. I, the elephant man wasn't shredded. And yep. There you go. Now, when I get this via text. <laughs> Even Bob. Really gets me every I text time. this to Jesse probably once every three to four months. Uh, when she'll asking me something super serious, like, hey, can you go get 
you know, baby formula, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, and you totally no on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like MTV presents the Elephant Man. Yes, yes. like it's hot elephant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you ever are wondering if Bradley Cooper is like actually cool, <laughs> he's not. He's he a, is the he's most. A dork. He's a dorky he's, actor, mm-hmm. theater guy, actor, which is actor. fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, Alessandro Novola did this play with him, <laughs> and uh, when I saw the footage. Um, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that, Bradley, are we? And we are. Nobody said anything. They were just cool with it. Like, oh, he's going to fake this deformity on stage, and we're all going to believe this, even though it is clearly Bradley Cooper. Like, what's... But he did do it. It was a black box, you know, production, (laughs) and you got to just go with it, I guess. Get a makeup artist. Is this the worst guy in your acting class? Oh, my gosh. And his question, right? He's close to it. Look, this is him. wondering. Yeah, that's him. Asking a question inside the actor's studio. Inside the actor's studio, yeah. Which is the easiest school to get into, by the way. And I'm not just saying that because I went to NYU. Um, I'm saying this because it literally is. Like, you can just show up and be in that class. And it's fine. I think maybe two people have made it from that whole fucking thing. So. I believe Full Sail might be the easiest to get into because you, yes. you just swipe your credit card. Correct. Guys, yeah. I just showed up. Is this Kurt Cobain testifying on trial? <laughs> yeah, Bradley Cooper. Unrecognizable. Um, and, and they would give him – so what they would do for these Inside the Actor Studios, uh, if you never watched the show, because obviously uh, Lipton is dead now, so they don't do it anymore. That's um, when Bravo was this and opera. Remember correct. That? That, was, that was all Bravo used to be. Mm-hmm. Now, they would give this, they would let students ask questions at the end. They would always give the mic to Bradley Cooper in these because always? he was the best. Yes. It, it was a, a, a long running joke in New York oh. that the ugliest people in the world went to inside the actor's studio. And you were always looking at the audience and it was always somebody with like something really super fucked up. And they would stand up. Ha. I <laughs> actor uh, second year. Um, can you tell me what it's like to play uh, Forrest Gump? And you're just like, oh, shit, dude. You're not going to ever be an actor. Like, you'll never be an actor, and I'm sorry. And it's just because of the way you look, and I, right. I hate saying that. Uh, but that's what it used to be, and that's what supermodels used to be as well. And then you have to fucking figure it out. O- right. Otherwise, you're a character actor. Yeah. So they would give him the mic at each and every one of these things. And going back over the years, there is a jump cut clip of Bradley Cooper Literally talking to the most famous people on the planet and every single class. Every class. Sean Penn. Uh, I don't know what this one's I from, Bob, but... there's the f- one of him talking to Robert De Niro. Yes, Robert De Niro. And then they ended up And then up they did doing... a movie together. It's because he was the only good-looking guy in the class, and they had to put him on camera to fucking let him ask the questions. Yeah. Uh, good for B. Coops. Yeah. Uh, but there's a reason why he brings his mom to every single thing by himself, and you never see a girlfriend or a wife, and that's Bradley Cooper. I think that's cute. So do I. That's the one thing where 100%. I'm hundred like, percent. Okay. But he's a leading man who is a great actor. You would think that guy would be, he'd be the one with, uh, you know, fucking Amber Heard or something like that. Like, you know. He never, I don't think he's ever been in a, a, a to, I mean, he's publicly a, a toxic I mean, a type relationship though. Like you've never seen him in. Close. So uh, look up his first, I think it's Jennifer Esposito is his first wife. And that didn't last very long. Now, she, yeah, but but was she it has toxic? IBS. I, I yeah, feel like no. it wasn't toxic. She toxic has IBS. Toxic is a I real, don't know. it's a real don't vibe. And so you're you, saying uh, if somebody has IBS, that's an immediate deal breaker? Pretty close. Watch okay. it. Yeah, so in, in, this, it. in the celebrity, well, right, and look, Delco, this is for celebrities only, okay? <laughs> okay? I love you. Um, but Kelsey Grammer did the same thing. Like hey, as soon as hey, Homegirl was shitting all over the house, he was like, I'm out of here. I can't uh, deal with this. By the way, and same with the dude side of it, I'm surprised Homeboy got married to Sofia Vergara. Well, uh, He's another one that's shitting all over the house. Right. Um, he was Pete in Davidson True is. Yeah, Pete uh, Davidson yes. is. And by the way. And I'm still shocked by Pete Davidson every single day. And that oh, never ends. I don't ends. know. It's growing on me. Gross. Grow, grow up. Okay. Grow up. Okay, so what is this? A picture of is? Are we supposed to believe this is toxic? Here you go. These two. So uh, great. I'm gonna. I'll ask you, and I'll let you know how long their relationship was. Okay. You can pop that up on uh, on screen, Bob. So that's Jennifer Esposito, great oh, actress. Yes. Great actress. Um, she's really funny in everything she does, and uh, uh, she did a bunch of shows for like USA and all that other stuff. This marriage lasted under a year for some reason. Okay. I find that odd. I, whenever somebody's married for less than a year, something is odd. And then mm-hmm. the next one was an actual supermodel. Yeah. Uh, they had a kid 
I'm not sure if they got married, what happened there, but then she started, they broke up and then she started dating Kanye immediately. Oh yes, and he was, it, that was during that That was during that lady. tennis, remember the tennis tournament? Yes, but the Lady Gaga thing. <laughs> remember? <laughs> He always rolls up to Grand Slams. He's at Wimbledon every 100%. year. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, but there was like a weird fight that they were having. There was a weird having, fight that they remember. were having, and it went viral, and it was at the U.S. Open. It was either the U.S. Open or Wimbledon. I wonder if you can find that. Video. And he, I, I, can t- I can promise you, if you pull up this picture, I'll tell you exactly what he said to her. Will you just shut the fuck up so I can watch the match? I doubt it. He was looking straight ahead, and she was pissed off. Like, um, it, it was awesome. And it was like, caption this. Uh, but I, I just think he was finally over. So like, with the first one, she didn't, I, she had celiac disease. Okay. And so, and a bunch of, uh, like animals. Mm. So she was like animal. I'm, you know, bread makes me sick. And I think at a certain point. That gets annoying. That gets yeah, annoying, dude. right? Where you're like, yeah. oh, I can deal it's with this. Much. And then it's like, oh my God, like everywhere we go, Gluten everything. free. Yeah. No, yeah. but like it's a, it's just a conversation all the time. About I made it nine it. months. Nine months with someone with celiac. Yeah, this last one. Oh, really? God yeah. damn it! You don't say. And tell she me had this. that too, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. On top of on top else. of on top of old Smokey, all covered oh with God. cheese, dude. Oh, don't bait me. Don't bait me. <laughs> I've been here for ten minutes. Don't bait me. Braces and celiac. Stop. Come on. Now. Stop. I mean that's. But the only thing keeping her alive is modern science. <laughs> right. Didn't believe Which? in modern medicine, but also had braces. Hmm. Giorgio, <laughs> but I have a question, Giorgio. Uh, was it constant? It was like a constant conversation, right? Like you at least talked about it every day, no? She had Celiac? the gluten-free life completely mapped out in Austin. Apparently it's one of the easy, it's like being uh, Hasidic. You just have yeah, the yeah, stores yeah. you go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Boy. Boy, oh boy. So it was. I mean, it would come up probably every single day. Every meal. Every Everything meal. I yeah. Every, yeah. No apps. And, and he probably bread. looked at that toilet every day and he was yeah. just like, this toilet is unrecognizable. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Boom. 